Hi, in this video we'll see how with Centrify PowerShell we can automate a lot of the tasks that are related to zone creation, roles and rights, and more. This video works better if you look at it after looking at the posting on, on the blog. But basically first what we're going to do is we're going to create a, um, a zone structure by using PowerShell. Um, it's going to create the model and let's go ahead and run it and we'll verify what is created okay it's supposed to be done so if I go to access manager and I do a an open zone um, I have this model this is the zone that I just created right now and notice that uh, it right now is, is empty there's there's nobody in it right there's a, a couple of things that we've created we created um, the Unix sysadmin role and we created a mixed auditor role notice that this role has um, you know the ability to audit uh, a mixed set of computers it can look at the event viewer on a computer and also at the rel secure log but let's take a look at another piece of automation how we Unix enable users so I have a bunch of users that have already been created here and I'm going to go ahead and uh, you know uh, start Unix enable them so I'm gonna go ahead and pick pick up this piece of code here and I'm just gonna execute it of course got a, a little error here let's take a look okay wrong 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 zone here so model right let's try this again if you bind and you get the wrong the wrong data that's not gonna work so let's try it again there you go. So we can verify now that when we refresh here, that we actually have some users. So some Simpsons guys have been created here. So the next thing we could do is let's take a look at uh, Unix enabling or, or granting rights to a user. Uh, in here, I'm going to pick Marge and I'm going to make it a Unix sysadmin. So you know, just a couple of lines of code with PowerShell. The idea here is to get your, you know, your your juices going because this could be front-ended by your ITSM solution, perhaps ServiceNow, or or uh, your ticketing ticketing system. So notice that I, now I have a role assignment at the zone level. So if I refresh, notice that Marge has been granted the Unix admin role. If I wanted to do something more granular, let's just say at the web servers level, uh, I can I can do this. I'm gonna basically assign this mixed role at the web servers level. So if I run this piece of the script and I go out, out here, expand my computer roles, look at the web servers, there's going to be a role assignment. So Bart can actually uh, log in. I could actually also do what is a, called a break glass, but th for this I need a computer. So this computer, this, this zone has no computers. Let's go ahead and quickly provision a computer. I happen to have here a quick script that will, um, this computer basically just has the Centrify agent. Um, so I can just use a script and automatically build the machine uh, to join the zone and, and, and get everything automatically. So, so the idea is to get your juices flowing because let's say you front end this with a workflow you need the automation, right? Because, or perhaps you're building an environment for a bunch of developers that will work for a week and you have to just, you know, decommission the environment later. This can be done uh, re real quick here. So if I go back and look at the zone, the zone now uh, has a computer, is this uh, CentOS 7 machine. If I look at the properties, notice that the, uh, the OS uh, is listed there. If I want to see who has access to this machine, I can always do show effective user rights. And it's going to show me that now Bart and Marge have access. This means that if I wanted to log in, let's just say as uh, Bart, and uh, let's see if I remember the password. Okay, I was able to log in. And uh, let's take a look at what this user can do easy do minus L notice that the user can run the uh, var log secure so if I do uh, 
is you do tail var. I'll be able to do that, but if I want to do something else, perhaps I want to tell the uh, messages log. I'm not allowed to do that. So, you know, your standard least access user, right? Uh, least privilege. Um, finally, let's take a look at a what I call an emergency access. So, if you want a user to get access just to a single system uh, for a certain amount of time, so notice that I can I can just you know use some PowerShell and get clever here, like get date and whatnot. But think about this. Perhaps you have a, you know, a service now workflow that is used for this type of emergency or maybe perhaps a change control. You could use this type of automation to back end it. So if I take a look at now and I do at the computer level, there's going to be a role assignment for Homer. And if I look at the who has access to this machine, uh, I can see that now Homer is there. But Homer only has access for five for five minutes. Therefore, you know he should lose access right away once um, you know once uh, you know the time comes. So uh, this is basically a great example of time time bounding right here, and it's all by using AD principles, PowerShell, uh, all that good cool stuff. So I'm hoping that uh, this gets your creativity going and uh, you know long name PowerShell.